I, I do want to share with you, however, a ministry moment for today. And I've told you that I've been wanting to share ministry moments along a particular theme. And so I want to bring with you, bring you the second installment of Keys to Kingdom Freedom. Keys to Kingdom Freedom. And this is key number two. Settle that God is with you. Settle it. God is is with you. Would you just say God is with me? Just you got to settle that. Isaiah 7 verse 14 says, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. So I need you to know that God is with us. Not only from the Old Testament, which was prophesying the birth of Christ, but Hebrews, he declares in Hebrews 13, 5b through 6, it says, For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, I will not fear What can man do to me? In fact, what can anything else do to me? Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. If God be for us, who can be against us? We've got to have that settled. Here's the thought I just want to leave with you this week. God has not promised to make our lives easier. That's a misunderstanding. He has promise to be with us even when life becomes challenging. The truth is, most of us are rarely challenged in life. We say I'm going through a challenging time and it's not really challenging. It's just uncomfortable. Most of us become uncomfortable and believe we have been challenged. We have not. I want to tell you what a challenge is from God's perspective. True challenges are only those situations that threaten God's plan and glory in your life. If you say, I'm challenged right now, I'm dealing with this old knee. You ain't challenged, you just got a bum knee. Pick them up, put them down, and get to stamping. It's not a challenge. Is God's plan threatened in your life? No. Is God's glory threatened in your life? No then you're not really facing a challenge. You're just going through an uncomfortable time. But we live for comfort and ease so that as soon as it's discomfortable, as soon as it's uncomfortable, as soon as it's no longer easy, all of a sudden I'm going through a challenge. And he says, toughen up. We're only confused about God's presence when we shift our attention from his glory To our success. The Achilles heel of the believer is that we want to win. And that's where the gospel comes in. Life is better with God. If he told you, you're going to live, you're going to lose, but I'm going to get all the glory, you would quit and become a Buddhist Because we're in it to win it. While God has promised us good success, his purpose is not to make us successful. His purpose is to reveal his glory. Our good success is merely a byproduct of living gloriously for him. Can I get an A? Man. So settle it. Whether you look like you're winning or losing, whether it feels good or it's painful, whether you're happy or you're sad, whether you got what you prayed for or not, settle it. God is with and never abandons us. Is that a good ministry moment for you?
Praise our God.